Good morning. Good morning. I am so grateful to be here and to be able to speak to all of y'all. My name is William Mendoza Euseda, and I'm a senior at Career Magnet Academy. When I told my principal, when I told my principal, Dr. Lewis, that I was going to speak here today, she made sure to say that I need to say my full name of our school. <laughs> I am born and raised in Tennessee. Right. And I am proud to say that I live in Gloria Johnson's district. Right. As a son of a pastor, my father always tells me that a representative is here to listen and to help people. Preach it. Amen. And when they do something, it's not for fame, but it's for the people. And I believe that Gloria Johnson is living proof of that. When she told me she wanted me to speak here, I asked myself, what should I say? And I thought, I'm going to explain why I love and support Gloria. I currently have an IEP, or Individualized Education Plan, that helps me with English and math. I was, just, I was struggling in school because I, was learning, I have a learning disability that makes it challenging for me to succeed. My guidance counselor, Ms. Orpert, contacted Gloria. And even though everything was happening in Nashville, even though she was fighting for us in the, US, in the, state, in the state capital, and even though she was getting threats of expulsion, Gloria Johnson still came to me and said, what's happening, William? Do you need help? During the weekdays, I'm at Nashville, but during the weekends, I'm at Knoxville. I can help you if you want. Those words. Those words meant so much to me than it seems. Gloria has always been there to help no matter what. I am a proud Tennessean till the day I die. And I know we deserve someone better, and that person is Gloria. We need someone that helps, someone that fights, and someone that defends, and that person is Gloria. We need someone that listens to real people, and that is Gloria. We need someone that has our backs, and that is Gloria. We need someone that stands tall for us. Gloria stood tall for District 90, and even when they put her in a closet, she prevailed. <laughs> Gloria stood tall for all the children of Tennessee, and they tried to expel her, and she still prevailed. And now, she's not only ready to stand tall for my district, our district, but she is, she is ready to stand tall for all of Tennessee, and I know she will prevail. I support Gloria because she believes in public education and she works for families like mine and yours. We need a senator that is for the people of Tennessee. Now, I have the honor to introduce you to the right person for the job, my representative, my friend, Gloria Johnson. have to come up a little bit here. <laughs> All right, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Thank you so much, William. It's, you know, you're always a teacher. Once a teacher, always a teacher. And so I'm always willing to help folks who need it because I want our young people to be successful. It's just critical. They're our next generation. They're why we're here. It's what we're fighting for, quite frankly. But just so you know, I'm Gloria Johnson, and I'm running for U.S. Senate. <laughs> the reason we're standing here with Central High School behind us is because I taught at Central High School. I taught at Central High School in 2008, where we had a school shooting, and we lost a student, Ryan McDonald. I'll never forget that day, sitting in my classroom, preparing my classroom, as the kids were in the cafeteria having breakfast before bell. And I, I heard a lot of screaming, and I looked out my window, and there were kids running down the hill towards my classroom, screaming with terror on their faces. They had just seen one of their classmates shot in the cafeteria. Some of them saw Ryan take his last breaths. I can't tell you the trauma that, that came that from that day. 
for the students, for the parents, for the staff and the teachers. It was just unbelievable. And the fact that we are still seeing that today and nothing has been done yeah. is we have got to do better. We can do better and Tennesseans deserve better. Yes. We have got to do something. Well, this is the something I decided to do. We need to be lifting up Tennessee families. We need to make sure everybody says they're going to cut taxes, but whose taxes are they going to cut? We have a senator who wants to cut the taxes of billionaires, corporations, and the wealthy and well-connected. I, I want to make sure that we're lowering taxes for working families in Tennessee. We need to make sure that every family has access to affordable health care. Every kid has a great school in every district. It shouldn't matter where you live. Everyone should have a great school. We need to raise wages so that people earn a living wage. And we need to increase our union involvement because that is what built the middle class. We ha currently have a U.S. Senator named Marsha Blackburn who is right now fighting against lowering prescription costs for seniors and for others. It's outrageous. How can this be? Well, she gets almost $2 million from insurance companies and Big Pharma. That's how it happens. Why do we not have common sense gun legislation like um, safe storage laws, universal background checks, red flag laws, because she gets millions from the NRA. This is what we're up against. We don't, these folks are not working for us. They're not working for Tennessee families. They are working for corporations, billionaires, and special interests. Yeah. They are beholden to these lobbyists and these corporations. I promise to work hard for you and to stand tall for Tennessee families. The respect, every, respect for every Tennessean. We don't have leadership that respects the human dignity of every single Tennessean. And it doesn't matter what party you're in, but we have to represent everyone, at least respect the dignity of every human being that lives in this state and this country. We're not seeing that right now. And we've got to make that happen. There's just no question about it. I'm thrilled to have uh, as my co-chair, Senator Charlene Oliver and Representative Justin J. Pearson on board. I'm really excited about that. We are w working very, very hard to build <laughs> My colleague, Sam McKenzie, is also here. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> but we're working hard to build a multiracial, multigenerational coalition because that is how we win. They will try to divide us. They will try to divide us by race. They will try to divide us by age. They will try to divide us by gender. But we are building a strong coalition a uh, multicultural and um, multi-generational. Gen Z is going to be critical in this election. And I'm going to be listening to everyone. For me, it's about listening and bringing legislation that Tennessee families want, not that our co the corporate overlords want. We need legislation that benefits Tennessee families, and that's what we're going to be about. But I can't do it by myself. I'm going to need every one of you, plus at least 10 of your friends. <laughs> We're going to all have to work together to make this happen. It's an uphill battle. There's no question. But her last race was about 10 points difference. We can get that 10 points. A lot, a lot has happened from five years ago. 
women have lost bodily autonomy, women are no longer considered equal in Tennessee. And she's fine with that. Our children are dying in their classrooms, um, our community and the churches and restaurants, and we are doing nothing to keep our community safer. 80% 80 of Tennesseans want safer communities. 80% of Tennesseans want abortion care on some level. She wants to make a federal ban on abortion. And then has the nerve to talk about freedom. It just doesn't, and making outrageous statements like we're trying to take her away her grill. <laughs> Folks, nobody loves grilling out more than me. And I'd love for, if you're ever cooking out, give me a call, I'll show up. <laughs> Hear what you think. But we're going to need, I'm going to need every single one of you, and you can go to votegloriajohnson.com. The website is live now. You can find out how to get involved, how to volunteer, how to donate, but, and bring your friends because it really is going to take absolutely every one of us. And I'm so happy that you are here. I'm so glad to see you. And and Knoxville always shows up. That's all I can say. No matter how little notice and how little time, Knoxville shows up. This is the most supportive community, and I thank you all so very much. I'm not going to have a lot of time to stick around because we got to get to Nashville. But I'd like to take a great big old giant selfie before I go since I won't get to see everybody. So onward to the U.S. Senate, and thank you all so much.